Hello and welcome to the lecture series on power electronics. In today's lecture, we would be discussing a three phase bridge inverter. So, in the earlier lectures, I was talking about single phase inverter. Inverter is a power electronic a type of power electronic converter which converts a DC voltage into an AC voltage. In many of the industrial application, we require inverter because we need to control the AC voltage, we need to control the frequency of the AC voltage and especially in industrial drives, the control speed control of induction motor normally employ V by F type of control wherein we have to simultaneously control the output voltage and the frequency given to the induction motor. So, that can be achieved with the help of a three phase inverter. So, let us uh, try to see uh, the basics of three phase inverter. So, a three phase bridge inverter has been shown here. It has got six switches. 1, 3, 5 and 4, 6, 2. The numbering uh, of the switch is basically uh, according to some convenience because uh, uh, it is uh, basically based on which switch is coming into conduction. Uh, so, the sequence has been maintained to for that it is it has been numbered like this. That means, the first switch is turned on, then the second switch is turned on, then the third switch is turned on, then fourth, then fifth and then sixth. Okay? So, that is logic behind numbering the switches like this. And we have got one DC power supply and it can feed a resistive load or it could be used to feed a delta type load also. This is star connected load, this is delta connected load. I have shown the load to be balanced and it is of resistive nature, but it could even be RL type of load or it could even involve C also, RLC type of load, okay, depending on the application. So, let us now see the operation of this three phase, uh, three phase bridge inverter, this is three phase bridge inverter. So, basically the operation of three phase bridge inverter can be uh, classified into two modes. One is called the 180 degree conduction mode and the second one is called the 120 degree conduction mode. The basic difference between the two modes lies in uh, the, the duration for conduction for each of the switch. Okay? So, let me just compare the two modes of conduction in three phase inverter. So, let me start with the first point which is the basic difference between the two and that is the switches conduct for 180 degrees, while in 120 degree conduction the switches by switches I mean all the switches 1, 3, 5, 4, 6 and 2 switches conduct for 120 degrees. Okay. Now, the second point, the second point is that, uh, so this was the difference. Now, let us uh, write down some uh, common points. The common point is that a switch in same leg cannot conduct at the same time, at the same time. So, similarly, for 120 degree conduction also, switch in same leg, this 1, 4, 1 and 4 switch, 3 and 6 and 5 and 2. These switches which are in same leg, they cannot conduct at the same time. Why? Because 
that would lead to a condition which is called shoot through. That means the DC supply that is connected here gets shorted. If either of the uh, either of the leg uh, is shorted, that means both the switches of the leg starts conducting at the same time that will short the DC power supply and consequently a large amount of current would start flowing that particular leg and that may damage the uh, switches. Okay. To avoid this problem of shoot through, normally a uh, small dead time is incorporated in firing uh, the switches in the same leg. Okay. if it is required, if it is required. We will see that in 120 degree conduction mode, it is not required. Okay. And uh, while in 110, 180 degree conduction mode, it is required. How? So, let me write down the third point and uh, that is basically a uh, difference between the two and which says that uh, three switches sorry three switches conduct conduct simultaneously in each step while in 120 degree conduction, two switches conduct simultaneously in each step, in each step. What it means? That means the switches, uh, uh, let me just uh, write it down there. Let me raise this. Okay. So the switches are one, two, three, four, five, and six. In one eighty degree conduction mode, three switches one, two, three, two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six and finally 5, 6 and 1, they conduct in 180 degrees. Three switches conduct at the same time and they conduct for 60 degrees. The simultaneous conduction of three switches is for 60 degrees, you should mention here also for 60 degrees. Okay. While in uh, 120 degree conduction mode, In 120 degree conduction mode, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5 and 5, 6 and finally 6 and 1 and each of them conducts for 60 degree. Okay. So this was our actually a difference between the two types of conduction in a three phase bridge inverter. Okay. Then the fourth point, which is again a common point, that the subsequent switch, subsequent switch will start conducting after 60 degrees from previous. Okay. And same is the case here also. What it means? It means that so from switch 1, uh, say if switch 1 starts conducting from 0 degree, then switch 2 will start conducting from 60 degree. Switch 3 will start conducting from 
120 degree. Switch 4 will start conducting from 180 degree. Switch 5 will start conducting from 240 degrees and similarly switch 6 will start conducting from 300 degrees. Okay. So, this will be for both the cases 180 degree conduction mode as well as 120 degree conduction mode. Okay, so, these are some basic uh, rules that need to be followed for the two modes of conduction and uh, then we can easily analyze the circuit and we can obtain the output voltage waveform for it for the two cases. Okay. So, these uh, points need to be incorporated while we are doing the analysis. One more point of uh, comparison is the utility factor. Utility factor is basically defined as the ratio of the output power to the rated capability of the all the devices in the uh, inverter configuration. So, for 180 degree conduction mode, the utility factor is 33.33 percent, while in case of 120 degree conduction mode, it is 28 point 9 percent. That means, utilization of the switches is better in case of 180 degree conduction mode. So, we would start with the 180 degree conduction mode in the next lecture and then in subsequent lecture, we will be talking about 120 degree conduction mode and then finally, we would be uh, analyzing the waveforms associated with the two modes of conduction in our final lecture of the inverter three phase inverter series thank you for watching